Hello, this is Alfredia Flowers, and we are already on day 20 of our 21 days together journaling with Jesus. I would just like to start with prayer, and then we will go over what we're doing and get to the business of journaling with Jesus. Father, thank you for another day. Thank you that you desire to speak with us. Come, Holy Spirit, speak in the name of Jesus. May we hear and understand what you are saying to us. Amen. All right. So those of you who may be watching for the very first time, we're using this book, The Basics in 21 Days by Benjamin and Michael Joy Williams. Last year, as we journaled through this book, we highlighted in video form a little bit of each of the chapters in this 21-day journey. This year, we are not highlighting the chapters, but we're actually doing the two-way journaling questions that Micah, Joy Williams, and Benjamin have put together. And we're also using the two-way journaling techniques that they use, and they got them from Mark and Patty Verkler, who are the authors of Four Keys to Hearing God's Voice. And their book is available online, as well as this particular book. And again, I'm going to quickly go over the four keys. I will read the verses from John chapter 20, and then I'll leave you to journal with Jesus. So the four keys, we can use them in an order, but the order we've been using them is first we want to still ourselves, that is stop what you're doing, focus on Jesus. Number two, we want to see ourselves in a scene with Jesus, visualize ourselves with Jesus. Three, we want to ask questions of Jesus and then notice the flow, the spontaneity, the spontaneous thoughts, pictures, or words that come to us, not from our head, but not what we've already planned, but what we hear the Lord speaking to us as we ask the questions. And the final thing is to record them. We want to record the questions we ask and record the responses that we get. We can do it. We can write it. We can put it on our phone. Just record what God is speaking to you. And if you're not comfortable with it, you feel like, I don't know if this is God, make sure you can check to see, does it line up with the word of God? Does it line up with the character, the loving heart of God, the heart of God that even if he prunes, it's to make you better, move you closer to where he created you to be. And so, and if you still feel like, oh, you can ask God, well, God, what are you saying to me? And if you still don't know, you can also ask other people that you know, know those two things, the written word of God and the heart and character of God. So with that in mind, we're going to expect him to answer because the burglars were using Habakkuk chapter two and Habakkuk chapter one Habakkuk had asked questions of the Lord and he put when chapter two, verses one and two, he's actually setting himself in position to hear God's answer to a particular question that he posed. So if you're ready, we're going to read what they suggest. The William suggests, read John chapter 20, still yourself, place yourself in John chapter 20, verses 19 through 23. Receive the Holy Spirit and ask Jesus one of these questions. How do I love those who are hard to love? That's a good question. Jesus, how do I love those who are hard to love? And number two, Jesus, how much do you love me? Ah, that's one of my favorite questions. Jesus, how much do you love me? You can ask one or both of those questions. So I'm going to read now. Remember, I see yourself begin to see yourself in that scenario and expecting Jesus to answer John chapter 20 verses 19 through 23 then the same day at evening being the first day of the week when the doors were shut and the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them peace 
be unto you, be with you. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad that they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, peace to you. As the father has sent me, I also send you. And then when he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Wow. Jesus breathed on them and they received the Holy Spirit. If you are born again, he has breathed on you and you have the Holy Spirit. So now I want you to just really focus in on the questions now and expecting God to answer spirit to spirit conversation. Jesus, how do I love those who are hard to love? Jesus, how do I love those who are hard to love? Or, Jesus, how much do you love me? Jesus, how much do you love me? Wow. Those are very good questions. Just begin to ponder. Don't correct any spelling, any grammar. Just let the words and thoughts and pictures flow. Because Jesus loves you and he wants to express that to you today. I want you to continue this. You can either ask him more questions, but continue the two-way journey with Jesus. And I want you to just flow, see the flow, enjoy it. And know God loves you. But we are already on day 20.